Hey everyone, I'm Chad. Welcome to Maker's Bench. So I got my uh, plugged up hot end right here. I promised I was going to make a video when I talk about the uh, process of unplugging this. I've tried the normal things um, for unplugging a hot end, uh, heating the hot end up to like 290C and taking a, a little acupuncture needle and sticking it up into the hot end. Um, and I was able to stick it up all the way in there. I mean, it's, it's, so my block is pretty high. And so I, I need to probably take it apart. But before I do that, um, one of the, one of the people that comment on the, on the, one of my videos, the video there, I talked about this being plugged up, um, TT geek, I believe was his name. He said that he had, uh, saw on the Prusa forums that you can take this fan off right here. That's the, uh, the cooling fan for the hot end, which blows over the the uh, heat fins, the uh, heat sink for the, the hot end. Take that off so that it doesn't cool. Heat it up so that it gets hot and doesn't get cooled down as quickly. And so hopefully the plastic that's up in here will melt. And I can then pull the um, filament out slowly. So I'm going to give that a shot and uh, we're going to see how that goes. So. Um, Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. So I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if uh, this does what we want it to do. How's everybody's uh, week going? Hope everybody had a good. Labor Day weekend. I'm, uh, like I said, a lot going on with the move. Um, we're getting packed up. Haven't had much time to do a lot of anything. That's why I haven't gotten to this yet either. It's been, this thing's been sitting here plugged up for a while. So, it'd be nice to get it. Nice to get it running again and, and get it back to being a, a useful printer. I feel pretty bad that it, I haven't been doing anything with it. I need to, I really want to get my Boba Fett helmet finished so I can glue it together. I want the pieces printed so I can glue it together, that part finished. I got a long way to go with the finishing of that. The screws are off, the fan is going to be put down here uh, and so now I'm going to power it up and it's going to heat the hot end up hey now we got power that's cool all right I'm going to go down to uh, I'm not going to use the preheat button because that heats the bed up as well so I'm going to go to settings if, if you don't know this and I'm saying this in case people don't know but I'm going to settings and then I'm going to temperature and then I'm just gonna to go to the nozzle and I'm just gonna heat the nozzle up. I'm gonna heat the nozzle up to, oh, let's go to that 295 spot and uh, go back to settings, back to main and info screen. And we're gonna let this thing start heating up. And I'm not, I don't wanna heat it up too long without the fan on, obviously. So um, I'm just gonna heat it up and the fan comes on at 50 and it looks to me like it I'm gonna stick it back here so that it doesn't blow on the on the thing so hopefully this whole thing's gonna heat up now and uh, we'll try to we'll try to see if we can get this filament pulled out of here there's some Maintenance here somewhere is a lesson in here for me too with uh, maintenance on a hot end. Um, I see that there's a thing called a cold pull. I wasn't super familiar familiar with a cold pull. Um, I read up on it and uh, looks like the cold pull is for you heat the filament up to like 90 or something like that. And um, so you don't heat it up to the full point of, of uh, normal printing and when you do that and you pull a pull the filament out it actually cleans out the hot end so 
that's something I'm gonna wanna try to do. I don't know, try and do that to see if I can't clean everything out then afterwards too, so. Oh man, it is in there. We are up to 295C. Uh, I don't want to go too long without the fan blowing on there. So, I'm trying to just I'm gonna keep trying to got it. Came out. Huh. It came out. Now I don't know. First thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna bring that back down, cool down. Uh, so we are cooling back down to zero, but I want to get that fan on there. So what happened to me was I was printing one of these, um, you know, these geared uh, little geared bearing things, these herringbone gear bearings. I decided to print one and uh it printed you know at about that high the print finished and so when i came down the next morning the print was done but it only printed like a quarter 25 percent of the actual part uh, and that's when i realized that i had a jam hot end so <sighs> that did not go very well i think my printer's shutting down paper printer, 2D printer, not a 3D printer. All right, um, we're going to, again, we're going to uh, settings, temperature, go to the nozzle and heat the nozzle up to, oh, we'll heat the nozzle up to 190. We'll go to 200. Well, that was fun. Um, so I finished recording that video when I was editing it a couple days ago. Uh, it just wasn't there. The The beginning was there and I got to the point where I got the filament freed up and then it stopped recording for some reason. I didn't notice and uh, the rest of the video wasn't there. So um, I'm gonna quickly go back over just what we did and, and uh, so there can be a little bit of a wrap up to this thing. So. We pulled the we pulled the hot uh, the the cooling fan the the hot end cooling fan not the not the actual printing cooling fan but the the one on the side here the the fan that's used for cooling the hot end we pulled that off we heated the hot end up to 295 degrees C and what that does without the fan blowing on it it allows that this hot end the the higher up there where the where it normally gets cooled that got to heat up as well so that plastic softened up inside of there too. Uh, and then we were able to pull the filament out of the hot end. Uh, and that cleared the cleared the hot end and we were able to get filament through. I, I loaded filament back in uh, and I ran it through and it was coming out of the nozzle again. Uh, one of the things that I read up on and I talked about a little bit or I heard about was doing cold pulls. So what a cold pull does is, from what I read anyway, um, a cold pull, you heat the hot end up to about 90 degrees C, so you get your filament where it starts to soften up, not necessarily melt, but it starts to soften up, and then you pull it out of the hot end, and what that's supposed to do is it's supposed to um, remove dirt and debris and other materials that might be stuck in there out with it. Um, and when I did that, and I pulled out the, the, did my first cold pull, and I looked at the end, uh, I could definitely see that there was stuff embedded in there that it had pulled out. So what I read it said to do that a couple times and so I did it a couple times uh, and I got more stuff out and then by the time I got done the last one I did was pretty clean so um, I put it back together and uh, I printed some successful things after that. I don't have them here with me but I printed a couple things since then so um, that went well. So I'm going to start using the cold pulls as a little bit of a um, maintenance to my to my hot end um, and we're gonna try to do that from time to time to keep that clean sorry I have a bit of I've got allergies going on right now um, 
if anybody has a plan to how they want to burn all the ragweed in the world, let me know. Uh, I'm in. So, um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to add that as a maintenance thing that I'm going to do to my hot end on a more regular basis. I'm going to do cold pulls. I'm going to try to do it when I'm changing filament. If I come down and my thing is cool, I might heat my hot end up to 90. And instead of unloading the filament normally, I think I'll just do a cold pull. Uh, maybe that's a bad idea, and if anybody knows of that being a bad idea or why I shouldn't do that as a maintenance task, uh, let me know. Uh, but I think that it, I, I did see that it pulled debris and, th and stuff out of there, So, but maybe it's not a good idea. I don't know. Um, so yeah, put, that, put those comments down below if, if you've got any experience with this or um, if you've done anything. Again, I'd like to, I'd like to thank TT Geek for... Um, suggesting in, in the comments that I try this uh, it did work I'm very happy that we've got it going again and the printers running so uh, thanks for the help if you have any comments about the cold pulls or uh, any other thing that might you know you might feel like talking about go ahead and put the comments down below if you haven't subscribed go ahead and do that already um, yeah, do that already if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and do that and um, we'll see you next time